One of the questions that I keep running into as I go around and I talk to teams at this event and prior events around the country is uh, uh, one that's sort of interesting is posed to me is, you know, these are really neat, fun problems. We get to build robots to play this game. But is this stuff real? Is, you know, is, does this translate into anything actually in terms of a really useful skill, knowledge set, or capability? I began to think about that a little bit as I tried to answer the question because it kept popping up over and over. And let me draw this analogy to you. I get to work on some really cool projects. There are other people I've talked to already who say they have the coolest job on Earth. I'm going to give them that. I have the coolest job off Earth. And one of the things that I get to do is work on systems that we send to other planets. When we design those systems, things like the Mars rovers or the Europa mission that we're about to send uh, or start building to send to Europa to burrow through 30 kilometers of ice, things like that. The things that we have to worry about, for example, are mass. We buy rockets that only can lift a certain amount of mass to orbit or beyond orbit. If the spacecraft we put on board is too heavy, the rocket can't do its job. We lose the rocket, lose the mission. Size, volume. We build something and it's just a fraction of an inch too large, the nose cone of the rocket will not close around it. And all of a sudden, a two and a half billion dollar mission doesn't fly. So we really have to understand things like mass and volume constraints. Materials. We have a very specific set of materials that we work with. If we choose the wrong stuff, we wish to build a spacecraft. For example, you pick, pick the wrong type of plastic. It gets out in the vacuum of space, it starts off-gassing, and all of a sudden the off-gas material coats the optics of your two billion dollar instrument and you've wasted the entire program. So we have to live within a very tight set of constraints about what we can use. Budget. Believe it or not, even in the government, we deal with budgets and we have to remain constrained within them. We have a set amount of money that we can spend on a particular project and we can't go beyond that. Occasionally when we try, Congress makes it very clear, no, you can't go beyond that. Schedule. We have hard deadlines. And when I mean hard deadlines, I mean like the universe conspires to give us deadlines. When I want to launch to, launch to Mars, I have one opportunity every 26 months. If I miss that launch deadline, I have to wait two years to try again. That's bad enough. But if I'm sending a mission to Saturn, if I miss my launch window, I have to wait 29 years before I can try again. If I'm flying to Pluto, like the recent Pluto Express mission, if we had missed that launch window, if we had blown our deadlines, we have to wait more than 200 years to try again. We don't miss deadlines, ever. And as I start to think about who I'm going to hire to build that mission to Europa, to burrow three 30 kilometers of ice down into the sub-ice ocean that we believe is on Europa, who do I want to have that I want to hire into my team? I want to look it out and think about, is there a group of people somewhere, future engineers somewhere, who understand size, volume, budget, timeline, materials constraints? I'd want to find a group that understood before we even started to ask the questions how to deal with that sort of stuff. If I was tasked with looking for a group of people like that, where should I start? 